Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk about notifying a manager when a task is overdue. Uh, as you see, I haven't really filled out an overdue date on this item here. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to say that it's to be completed on the 16th. Now I want a workflow that runs the day after that date if the work has not been completed or if the task is not completed. So I'm going to create a workflow and I'm going to make that workflow run by going into list settings and going into information management policy settings. And there I'm going to create a retention policy based on this task. But before I do that though, I need to create a new workflow. And I'm going to do that in SharePoint Designer. I've opened the site and I'm going to go into the leads list and then I'm going to create a new workflow. In this case, I have to use a SharePoint 2010 workflow. So I'm going to notify manager on overdue task. And there I'm just going to check. I'm going to do a condition if any value equals value. The value I want to check is, of course, if the completed status or the status of the current item is completed or not. So I'm going to do these task status. If that does not equal completed, then of course we need to notify the manager. So there I'm going to add an email and I'm going to pick up the manager. So I'm going to do that at workflow lookup for user. Double click that and then I'm going to go into the sales manager. Pick the email address and just call it um, lead is overdue or task is overdue. And then I'm just going to add the title or the task name. There we go. And of course, you can fill out more information in the actual email here such as who is responsible for it. That's a good thing to do. Responsible. And then I'm going to get that information from there, the assigned to field. I'll just get the display name. All right. And this workflow can, can be manually started, but it should not run automatically when an item is created or when it's changed. So I'm just going to leave it, allow this workflow to be manually started. That's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to go into the information management policy settings of the leads list. And on the task content type, I'm going to enable retention. It's kind of like life cycle management. That's how I usually explain a retention stages. So I'm going to add a retention stage. And this is going to be based on the due date plus one days. That's when this is going to happen. And the action is start a workflow notify a manager on overdue task and that is it now i can wait for this to run but of course that's going to be tomorrow or actually the day after tomorrow is when the workflow is going to run so you'll just have to take my word for that 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 workflow will run on the day after the due date so that concludes my demo thank you for watching